guys, Jade Gaming here, and welcome back to a brand new Survive the Hunt. The conditions we are starting in are horrendous. It is absolutely chucking it down in the world of Los Santos. And we are we're, we're, get, we're gonna get go at we're getting going at midday, if I can get my words out. And off we pop, leaving all those hunters behind us in our wake, ready to get going. Now we are starting off on the lower side of hunters because some of them are arriving late. Just had to get going. One of these things, we've all got evenings, so we don't want to start too late. So there's only nine at the moment, but like I said, a couple of running late, so they will join us. Uh, so it does mean that with regards to objectives that I'm going to be lining up during the 24 hours, I've only got... Oh, I might have that car, actually, whilst I'm here. I've only got nine to grab. Now, I'm going to show you the map quickly now, whilst we've got some time. And I've actually remembered straight off the bat. We've got the one at the ammunition rooftop, the casino, the arena, the pay and spray car park, the end of the pier, La Mesa police station... The train diner along West Vinewood, then Grove Street, and last but no means least is Golf Course. So literally one over the other side of this hedge. So that was quickly done. I've never really done the map that quickly before. But anyway, um, in regards to what I'm doing in the hunt, as you can see, we have no maps on at all. This map, this hunt is all about going stealthy. Now the guys have got to try and hunt me down without they don't have maps on either, and it's yeah. So. That's the whole point of a side of the hunt, really. I've really started this off weirdly. I don't know why. Anyway, so I've got 24 hours to start. I've got 24 hours to survive in the world of Los Santos. Now, those 24 hours start when the hunters get released. Now, I have a two-hour head start period. I'm released into the world. I get to change up my car because I'm not allowed personalised vehicles. And I also get to change up my style because if I walked around in Los Santos with this, I'd be spotted. So we've either got this on offer, change my hairstyle as well, or... I'm just going to go for that. Go for the hoodie. Thank God you didn't take my car door off then. Right. So. All my ejectors are done. With regards to my setup. Getting in. Change my car. Change my style. And get myself all nice and set up. So. I'm happy. I'm good to go. Now. What do I have to do in the 24 hours? Pretty much. I have to survive. You know. As soon as the guys get released at 2 o'clock. That's when the 24 hours starts. So. I've just got 24 hours to survive with them lot. Now, like I have already mentioned in the video, they have got objectives, which is their personalised cars, dotted around the map for me to blow up. Now, the reason we have those is to give them some intel, because otherwise it'd just be 48 minutes, because that's roughly how long 24 hours is in in-game, of me just driving around the map and them trying to just hopefully come across me and spot me, or if I do a mistake, them coming across and seeing me do the mistake. Now, that's quite difficult. We particularly were on the low side today, but in a normal in other hunts when we've got stacks of hunters, like we've had 16 before, uh, it might be a little bit easier. Now we don't have those sort of numbers, so it's a little bit harder. So the point of the objectives is to make it a little bit more entertaining. It adds some risk factor from my end because I've got to put myself in a particular situation where I might get spotted, uh, and then even when I don't get spotted, blowing it up. Obviously, they then get a notification saying your personalised car has been blown up. And then they'll be like, right, my car's been blown up, he's over at this place. And the reason being that they know I'm over at this place is because we have a rule in place which I I cannot, uh, well, leave the sight of the object. I've got to have the objective still in my my sight. So what is my phrase? What do I say? Uh, cock it, drop it, and watch it blow up. There you go. That's my phrase. It used to be, as long as I can see it, I can blow it up. That's when we had sticky bombs. But since then, we've decided to change it back. The uh, hunters felt like sticky bombs were a little bit... Not overpowered, but to make it a little bit more tricky for me so I don't have to plan it out as much because there wasn't as much risk factor with the sticky bombs because I could just throw it and then hang about for a bit, get myself sorted, and then blow it up essentially. So, whereas with grenades, it's about a, it's a timer, isn't it? So, I have to get myself sorted beforehand, and even when I do throw it, throw it, I've got to then get away from the situation quickly. So, yeah, it's a bit more panic to it. So, I quite like the idea. We've stuck with it and we've gone with the grenades. I don't know how many hunts we've done the grenades since, but yeah, this seems to work. Now, the hunters have been released, so they are now out in the world. Hopefully, we do have those few who are arriving late. Hopefully, they do show up. I know one of them's got a power cut at the moment, so hopefully his power decides to turn back on before the hunt finishes. I'd really rather you didn't do that, AI. But thank you very much for it anyway. So, now that the hunts have started, I've got to try and think about, you know, what, how I'm going to play this, which car I'm going to go for. 
because like I said, I could just... I mean, to be fair, there's no need for me to go for these objectives. I could decide, by all means, just to literally just survive. However, I'm doing this for YouTube. I'm doing it for you lot. My viewers, my subscribers who like my content and keep coming back, which means a lot to me, so thank you very much. Hopefully you haven't been enjoying the latest Survive the Hunts. Uh, and I hope they're not getting stale. I mean, this is just me saying it, so... It's not like anyone's commented going, Oh, you're... You're boring, JDB Gaming. You're really stale in the cards in front of me. Just disappeared. Uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things. I'm just... Obviously, I don't want my content to be the same every single time. I know it's Survive the Hunt, technically. It is the same every time because you're surviving for 24 hours. But, well, the main principle stays the same. But the actual viewing of it, hopefully, is still exciting for you. Hopefully, you still all want to come back. Well, re regarding my numbers for views, it hasn't dropped. So, at least that's a good sign. So, yeah. Anyway... Anyway, like I was saying, before I got sidetracked, which is a staple on JDB Gaming's channel, speaking about myself in third person, nice going. Um, why are you getting annoyed at me? What have I done? <laughs> I'm just driving by the side of you. Women, am I right? <laughs> I can't say that, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, right, okay. So, I've got to try and think about which car I'm going to go for. At the end of the day, like I was saying, this is content. I like to make it entertaining for you guys. And the best way to do that is going out and blowing up cars. Because it means that it attracts hunters. And it means it's, well, it's like a little side mission for myself. Oh, speaking of hunters, it's almost like speaking about them too much has then caused it to drive past me. I was trying to say something fancy and I couldn't think of anything to say. So, yeah, just caused one to pop out, pop up. From out of nowhere. There we go. That's what we'll go with. You are really close behind me. I can hear... Oh, did you really have to shove me up the arse? Didn't really appreciate it. That was, uh... I'm going to just turn right. Is that Hunter? No, it's just an AI. That might be. No, I did see the chopper in the background. Yeah, there he is. I don't know what he's monitoring. Just need to be careful of that. So I'm just going to watch the traffic lights because I don't want them to go green. I've just seen some AI in front of me crash. don't know if you can see to the right hand side. So there's definitely something weird going on. And the rain really isn't going to help. If we get into an early chase with the hunters, it's really not going to help. Because it rain reduces the traction cars can get, so there's going to be a lot more wheel spin. I'm in a coupe. I'm in a Sentinel, which is a quick coupe as well. So... We should be alright on the speed front if we need to get away quickly. I am tempted to try something new, new, you know. I mean, a lot of these trucks are spawning about. I could chuck in one of those. I mean, the guys wouldn't anticipate it. I wouldn't anticipate it. It'd be something completely <laughs> out of the blue. Like, I've never even shown interest in a previous Survivor the Hunt to do one of these. So if I don't decide to do it in this hunt, I can't do it again in the future one because, obviously, some of you, my viewers, are my hunters. Hello to you hunters who are watching this back. And so now you will have remembered that I've shown some sort of interest in those big trucks, as there is one in front of me. And you might double guess in a future hunt that we do. So, it's like whenever I've banged on about police cars, like I've always gone, oh, you know what, I've really, really been intrigued about going in a police car. I've never done it. But uh, I don't know if the guys have sort of, if my hunters have clocked on to that or not, to be honest, but yeah. Don't know. We'll, we will see. But I mean, my outfit, as I'm wearing now, is just that's it's a civilian outfit. It's nowhere near what. A... Hello. Okay, that was some really janky driving. I've just panicked. Basically, he just stood right in front of me, and it's made me panic.
Okay, that's it. As long as you're reversing, it's going to take you time to spin around. Okay, this is an early chase. I was not anticipating. Maybe just go... I don't know. I'm intrigued. <laughs> don't know what gave me away. Maybe I was just being sloppy and my driving was awful. Who knows? Okay, see me go up on the highway. I'm hoping he doesn't see which way I go from here. Come on now. Get some distance. Get some distance. Has he seen that? Oh, <laughs> I've lost all my speed and distance I had because I decided to bloody press R1 to the whip a Yui and I just lost all of my momentum. Now it is a straight drag race. Okay, well, I know I said at the start how I didn't want these to go stale or anything, but being in a chase this early on really wasn't in the plan. Try and brake check him. It sort of worked. Ooh, what are we going to do? <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure what I decided I was trying to do then. I <laughs> It's like a bit of chicken then. It was a case of like... was I, I mean, I was never going to stop and get out and try and shoot him. I uh, Previous hunts I've done that and it just is backfired. So I just rather would get into a straight chase knowing how quick my car is. Now he just needs to keep line of sight. Now he's obviously he's telling everyone that we're on the Golden Gate Bridge heading from west to east. No one crash into me. No one crash into me. Thank you. Oh, big explosion. What was that about? I mean, I can still see him weaving in and out of traffic. So, oh, Duke. I want to get away from this side of the traffic. Thank you. Okay, there's the chopper on me now. I'm intrigued to know if they're going to have made a roadblock right at the end already. Or if I've been quick enough to sort of skedaddle on through that they won't have done anything. Oh, he's still going. Okay, he might have made a mistake. That's worked for me. I have a feeling though, however, that that chopper is still going to be on me. He's still tracking me. I think we've basically got this, the exact same vehicle. I think we're both in Sentinels, so it, there's no sort of <laughs> difference in pace that way. So there's no advantage to me, no disadvantage to him, or the other way around. Oh, that was some awful. Oh, I got away then. They almost managed to roadblock me essentially well this is a, a very <laughs> very hairy start indeed thankful that uh, the, the crouch mechanic in this game is amazing like if it wasn't for the crouch mechanic i'd have probably died them oh does this just go around in a circle what am i doing oh, get out of my way oracle Oh, hello. Okay, jump down off the highway. Again, they're now still on me. I don't know if that red one's one of them. We're just going to carry on. Okay, I really don't know how I'm meant to lose them. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm still in the coupe, so I've still got speed. That's absolutely fine with me. I need to try and lose them somehow, but as long as the chopper stays on me, that's actually going to be very difficult, and I've lost control of this car. Come on, get some traction! I might have to go down already and start shooting. Come on, get the shots off. There we go.
Okay. Come on. He hasn't seen this. They haven't seen me. Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart was racing. He must not have seen me leave the car park. Oh. <laughs> my heart is pounding. Oh, how have I managed to get away with that? I ha <sighs> okay, I must have jumped out at the right time the chopper didn't see me. And then as I was running, he must not have seen me either. Oh, they're going to spend a long time around that car park, you know. A long time. I just need to... I need to get into something else because this car is not quick. Oh, I'll even... I'll even take a ruiner for the time being. No. Don't run me over, don't run me over, don't run me over. Thank you. Oh, what am I doing? You know, just get back in your car. Okay, so the reason why I was confident I could run around for a little bit then and try and find a different car is because I'm pretty sure they're all going to still think that I'm in that car park. And as long as they don't see me leaving, that I'm just going to be held up there. Which is brilliant news for me. <sighs> My god, I am... <laughs> Probably went really silent for a little bit then, but I was like concentrating so much just to try and. <sighs> okay, right. So I, I, I just a momentary lapse of concentration, and that's what got me spotted. Or maybe the damage sinks for once. Sinking like damage sink on this game is very 50-50. Sometimes it does show, sometimes it doesn't. So it might very well have seen a broken window. I have no idea. But, like I said, no maps are on at all. You know, we've been doing these hunts for ages, I don't need to say that, but I'm just going to reiterate it, the point. No maps are on at all, so I don't know what... <sighs> Park up. Take a second to breathe. Still can't see the chopper, so I don't know if he's still over there or he's moved on and I just I can't see it. We're gonna go out the same way so we don't scratch this oracle. Okay, well that sentinel served me very well. Now the reason why I also dipped into that car park was because I had a pop tire. I could hear the tire was going around popped and it was just a moment it was just a second or two away from popping, and as soon as the tire pops and the like the the rubber bursts and you've then just got a metal rim against the floor you lose all traction whether it be the front of the car so i'd have lost all steering if it was the back of the car i'd have just kept skidding out left right ends and just so just not ideal at all so i had to get rid of it and i knew the car park entrance and i was happy to go in there and hold up sort of yeah just hold up in there for a little bit and i i got too scared and i bolted now i thought the chopper was still on me because I could hear him the whole inside the entire time as I was running on foot. But he must just not have seen me get out. I mean, you're thinking, whilst they're all over there, that's the time to go and race to an objective and blow it up. But I, I didn't want to risk it, to be honest with you. I did not want to risk it at all. Oh my god, that was some really janky moving. I'm genuinely a little bit like, I think... <laughs> I think adrenaline hit me. <laughs> oh, like I don't know how many shots I managed to survive. So thinking about that, let's snack up. All the meteorites should do the trick. Okay, so <sighs> did check my surroundings and nothing immediately caught my eye okay 
She's gonna act, act casual, join these people at the casino like nothing's happening. She's gonna just chill for a little bit. Oh, brave, bloody hell, that was manic. Look at the way that person just turned to me, like he thought I was talking to him. Right, Lester, cops on a blind eye. Let's get our first car over at the casino. Hey, how can I help? What's my escape? I'm just thinking about it. How am I going to escape? I really haven't thought this through, have I? Um, I don't want to be noticed and have another chase. We had literally just. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think about. I'll deal with it. I can hear something going on about somewhere. Should we just... You know what? This has been an interesting start. Do my manoeuvre. Staying here for a second. I just wanted to calm down a little bit. Fire engine is going to come because obviously the car's just been blown up. Oh, was, okay, I can see the lights of the chopper coming over now as well. Yeah, they're predicting me I'm going to have left. They're predicting I'm going to have left the area quickly. I'm hoping, at least, and that none of them are going to check on the area. I mean, look, there's still AI running about, scared. Nah, I'm not allowed to camp. Now, the hunters aren't allowed to camp in their vehicles, and I'm not allowed to camp either. In the situation in the car park, I could have held up, you know, held up there, because the hunters knew where I was. But in a situation like this, where they don't necessarily know where I am, I'm not allowed to camp. I'm only not moving. Oh, I'm saying that actually. Well, I'm not camping, am I? Really, I'm just holding out for a little bit. Okay, so chopper. I'm just aware of the chopper, and I know if I make a wrong move, the chopper is then going to come and what? He's going to spot me leaving. Do I go now? Do I go now? Sod it. Let's go now. No hunters are about to see that. Thankfully not. There we go. A nice and smooth exit. And we're back on track and we've done our first car. Yep, radio was playing. Wasn't playing through my headset because I've got the music turned off. So I don't have to pause what I'm saying because the music is playing. Well, obviously, well, you guys can't hear it anyway. You know, it's a handy little feature that GTA have where you know, like copyrighted songs don't get played. So obviously you don't have your videos um, striked. I have a copyright strike. Ooh, okay, there's a hunter. But, yeah, so I have it turned up permanently, but obviously if you have radio playing in your, your, your car, as I, well, God, I'm so distracted at the moment. Your character, words have escaped my head. Dude, it does a little dance. Now, I'm not saying it gives away anything immediately, uh, but I'm just looking at the wrong time. Please don't get any the attention of the cops. I'm just going past the cop station. Yeah, bollocks. I just had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh. And now I have to get rid of the cops on me, which is annoying. Hey there. What can I help you with? What was so that you don't about? Get in serious that trouble, AI huh? really, okay. well, really skirted into me. me then. Oh, I do like the looks of that shafter. I think it's a shafter. Oh, I don't know. I can never get the two right. There's like one that's a sports version. I can't remember what it's called now. And then there's one that's a sedan, which is a, I believe the shafter. I, I think. One's a four door, and one's a two door. That's 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 my knowledge. I think the four door is the sport. But yeah. Anyway, we're in a coupe, so we're good for cars. Because with cars, I'm allowed anything that actually spawns apart from bikes. No one's allowed bikes. Not allowed supers. Because it's just supers are too too strong, too quick. So. We tend to avoid doing supers. I am allowed sports. 
Hunters aren't. They have the numerical advantage, so I can have the pace advantage. I don't necessarily go for sports, like I tend to not, because I feel like they're like a magnet, in a sense, that the Hunters check them a little bit more than other cars. You could say that. The cars I always tend to go for are, if well, if they normally spawn, it is the Sultan. The Sultan, because I do. I just... It seems to be the car I go for, but I haven't seen a Sultan recently. I must admit, not many have spawned lately. Uh, or the the Oracle. It seems to be a car that always spawns. Whatever the spawns that is in GTA, is always the car I seem to like lean towards. Because it's coupe, it's reliable. I know how it handles. I know the pace for it. So, and it's just a good car. You know, like I said, it always spawns. It's just a reliable car to go for. I'm. Shall I go for that car in front? Oh, Whilst you're here. Uh, okay, so the Swartcher is actually the Sports, which is the two-door. I thought it was the other way around. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're in this now. It's a Sports car. I'm allowed a Sports, so... A bit of a quicker upgrade to the Oracle. I'm liking it. And uh, we can get back on track. And what's the next car I can go for? The next car I can go for is the one at the train diner, which is just up ahead here. Oh, and we recognise this situation, don't we? Oh, dearie me. Okay, we're going to have to go around the long way because I'm not getting through that. Oh, someone else has lagged out. Oh, we're not doing very well tonight, are we? <laughs> Late arrivals and Hans are now lagging out. Uh, hopefully he joins back. So, oh, what, what, what's his car? What's his car? His, ah, his is at the casino, so that's actually ideal. What time is it? It is nearly 2am. And we started at 4, so we've had nearly 10 hours and I've only done one car. Well, we did have a long chase at the start, so... You know, can't say I've been boring. That was bl oh, bop the mic. Just that was bloody epic. But it's time to move on. Time to get a move on, and time to think. Time to start thinking about which car I'm going to go for next. And I think I'm going to go straight over here and actually go down towards the pay and spray because uh, there's a car park on top of it where there is a car, or as I should say, a bike because it is a Faggio that has been placed there for me to blow up. So at least I believe it's a Faggio. Um, and it's Hans all screwing with me, making me believe it was a Faggio. But, I mean, either way, it's going to get blown up, so. Nothing on me, really. I'm trying to... This cavalcade in front of me is doing a really weird manoeuvre. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, basically, going to turn a right here. Then the next junction go straight, and then soon after that, it's like a left. It's just a quick left on my like, a quick turn left. My God, and then up a ramp, and then we're there. I just need to make sure that the area is clean first, so make sure that there's no dodgy movement going around. If a hunter wizard past me, I probably won't go straight in. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have a I have a tendency to uh, like do a lap around the block. <laughs> to make sure the coast is clear it's a good tactic make sure that you know that that, that card like a white light on it is weird anyway make sure that like the area is clean that you're well if you do go for a car you know that you won't get spotted by just turning into somewhere that an area i necessarily wouldn't go it does slow down how you approach things like i said i'm i'm in a bit of a fast mood I'm going to park my car here. Cool, Lester. I'm going to do a little taxi that I've done here once before in a previous hunt, which is hide just around the other side of this build, like this building, hey, and watch a car come up and down. Which one of my skills down. is required? 
I'm gonna no try problem. and attempt to do that. The reason why I haven't parked my car too far away, though, because in case it goes tits up and they, a hunter does think to check, it means that I'm not sort of then screwed. Right, cock it, drop it, and watch it blow up. Okay, that's the car blown. Blown up. Now, we're going to just chill here for a little bit. And hopefully, if a hunter does come up to check. We'll be nice and safe. So, I'm just going to have a, a gun out. Well, like a gun ready, the gun I'm going to go for already, just in case. I can hear the chopper. Chopper blades are inbound. But they've gone very quiet now, so I don't think anyone's here. So there is only one way up and down here, so it's not a case of, like, I could get snuck up from behind. If I do get snuck up, then I will eat my, my socks. There you go. <laughs> Why that's come into my head, I really don't know, but... Yeah, I'm very intent on just watching. I think I'm good. I think I can go. Oh. No, maybe. Did hear a car backfiring. I can hear the chopper very faintly. Okay, so we're just going to have to go for it. We can't just stay up here forever. I think we're okay. The chopper's over there. Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> Did I just get spotted leaving? That is ridiculous. Okay, well, like, we're in a sports and the shaft is quick, so... I should be able to pull away from that car nice and easily. I need to decide to turn much quicker than that. That was terrible. I lost so much speed. Okay, well, that was annoying. If I had left early or even just a couple of seconds beforehand, I wouldn't have gotten spotted. But the timing of that was impact. Oh, they've blocked off that exit from the jump. That is annoying. Let's see how good your driving is. Oh, he's taking it nice. Okay. I'm just trying to think of how I can try and lose this before the chopper gets involved. I'm trying to, I want to throw in as many sort of left turns and right turns as possible because then it's going to make it so much m trickier for the car that's following me to sort of direct them all. Because he's then having to go, oh, right, we're heading north towards this. Oh, no, we're heading south. No, oh, oh, no, east. And it's really confusing. And then it's too many directions and people don't know where they're going. He's, he's dropped back a little bit. He has dropped back. So we could try and lose him, I reckon, in a second. Try a little manoeuvre to try and get away. But I think at the time being, it's just a case of using, utilising the, the raw speed that is the shafter. He's still following. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. That works out beautifully. <laughs> the timing could not have been better right then. Of spinning around, flicking on the lights and acting back in. I thought I was maybe just a split second too late to do it. Perfect, as I just witnessed a cavalcade just slam into the back of that van. Oh, amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. Bit of a uh, hunter communication, a miscommunication there. But at least, in at least, uh, <laughs> interceptor got a, uh, a bounty. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. That was very, very nice. What are these trucks spawning again. I've explored trucks in the past. I've done it, well, the one which is no trucking way, which is an absolutely epic episode. Um, attending, thinking that maybe I should uh, 
leave it for a little bit. What is it with AIs bashing into each other? That's another one that's just re-rendered another one. It's so strange. Okay, what can I go for? Ooh, Lester. Ammunition. Ooh, I'm liking that one. Yeah, I'm thinking that one. But I am thinking this car is burned. That's the only other thing that I'm thinking about. And I don't think Lester would have the cooldown to get the cops on a blind eye would have gone. We'll try. We'll have a little look. Eh, if it isn't my creepy silent friend. Yeah. How can I help? Another two minutes. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Goodbye. don't hear anything around me so I think I might be safe I should really go with a different color because I think they're gonna be looking for a white car so I probably should go for a different colored car or even like go to paint and spray and spray a different different color Let's just see if that car follows me No, he's not. Oh, that was a hunter, though. But I think I might be safe if I go up here. I think I'm good. If I jump off here and then turn right, I reckon I should be... Should be groovy. I'm just trying to think if there's a better car for me to sort of to grab nah there isn't anything that here yeah, I fancy nothing that's the same speed as a as a shafter or a sports car right cock it drop it and watch the bad boy blow up get away with a bit of urgency and Lester I'm gonna just call you why hello how you doing how can I help and get rid of the wanted level I take it this isn't purely a social call so at least we're not. setting that front You're in trouble and you need my help. Ah, so no frustrating problem. they blocked off that jump I do like that jump oh these are red lights I'm just gonna keep going imagine they're not there Now, I might see if I can change the colour of my car. See if I can go for a different colour than, uh... Then green. Green? What am I on about? Why did I say green? What, what was I looking at green for? Well, I just realised myself. Why would I... S <laughs> of any other colour than white? I mean, we could go for a green, but it'd have to be dark green, so I don't give myself away. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. We'll go for a... Well, yeah, we'll go and spray this a different colour because they'll probably be looking for a white version of this. I don't necessarily just want to get spotted straight up because they're like, yeah, we're looking for a white shafter. Or just a white looking benefactor and then they just happen to come across this and then just like check it out. Even like a white oracle, they might even check one of those out. So yeah, we'll go change the colour. And then we can think about the next car we can go for. It is 7 o'clock. I'm just making sure the light doesn't go green. Now we're good for the time being. Now it has gone green. So very quickly. Uh, I'm just going to ignore what the AI just said then. Because I'm not going to react to the fact that they have got zero patience in this game. But anyway, like I was saying. So 4 o'clock. 2 o'clock is when we started. Did I say 4 o'clock? Ooh, I don't know. Two o'clock. So we've got six hours, basically, until we have left to survive. You know, it'll be easier. I know I said I'd try and change the colour. This is the easiest way to change the colour. Literally just... <laughs> still one behind me that's a different colour. Okay, right. What car shall we go for next? What's available to us? We have... Could go down south towards Grove Street. That's a possibility. 
We could go pier maybe. Ooh, pier's a bit of a tricky one. Just trying to think of how I could approach it. I don't know, you know. No, maybe we'll do one more car and then maybe go to pier. I like the sounds of that really. Yes, yeah, so we've done We've done three? Yeah, we've done three. Okay. And we've not done too too badly. I'm just trying to think which one we can go for next from my list. We could go golf course, I guess. Taking a bit of an extended route to get to golf course, but Yeah, we'll go golf course then. Why not? I'm gonna keep turning right. Because we can turn right on a red light in American rules. So, long, as long as they're still right turns without sort of going in circles, we can keep moving. And I've had to stop here, unfortunately, because, you know, red lights again. They're all over the place. But I reckon we should have enough time to get the one... Piece of garbage. The one at the golf course and then move over to the one at the pier. Just because I'm thinking the P1 will be a risky one to go for, but if I don't have a lot of time left, that would be a good way to end it. You know what I mean? Grab a jet ski and go driving. And uh, see the hunters sort of, they can see me driving away, but there's nothing they can do and time's running out. Like the, a picturesque ending, basically. Oh, perfect for me, not so perfect for them. Now, I have to say, I think, look, just thinking about how this hunt's gone, I have never eaten so many bullets before in a hunt. Like, I've been shot at before, and several times, so it's, like, that's nothing new. But I've never had soaked so many up and not died. Like, I think I must have gotten so lucky that none of them have been headshots. Like, I'm sure my health bar at several times must have been, like, a slither. Now, I have no way, because normally, when no way of knowing, because you normally have the map up and the map shows you how much health you have. I must have been so close to dying, and it just did not. It just did not happen for the guys, and uh, yeah, thankful for that. Okay, so we did have Mark join us back, but it doesn't look like the, the people who had uh, who were late have showed up yet, so which is a shame, but still been a fantastic hunt nonetheless. So, yeah, don't let's not let's not use that as an excuse to try and dampen dampen the mood of this one because this one has been, yeah, like I said, it's been brilliant. Uh, that, that long chase where my driving was being tested and the person who was chasing me was just keeping with me which is the best thing a hunter can do if you're not going to get out and try and start shooting me shoot me just keep on me to so you've got intel and i think the hunter who was chasing me was liam i believe i might be wrong lindsay's hill but he did a fantastic job of just sticking with me making sure that he did not lose sight i think the trouble was of me as well so it wasn't exactly like if he did like crash or something that he would have had no intel, but he was. Ooh, I'm not sure what that car's doing. Oh, as a hunter, there's two hunters there. Okay, okay. I'm like inadvertently following a hunter. Okay, so clearly they're going to be close to the the golf course. That could work. That could work in my favour. All right. Well, hopefully they don't stay in the area. Hopefully we can go and grab the golf course car, and that won't be an issue. He's gone racing past, and there's another hunter racing past. So, Ooh, I wonder what they're checking. I think this is going to be an in and out jobby. How can I be of service? Get in, blow it up, get out. Done. We're in. <coughs> Cock it, drop it, and watch it blow up. And we're out. Oh, hello. Okay, let's get out nice and quick. The hunter was right on me then. He must have been checking the area. 
or something. Okay, well, how long have we got left? Oh, got a good six hours left. Okay. No, not even six, sorry, four hours. So we could chase this out. Like, we could just have a long chase at the end to end this hunt. Ideally, we'd rather not. I don't want my nerves to be jangled until right at the very end, but we'll see. We've had we've had a few chases in this hunt, so it wouldn't surprise me if a long chase is how it ends. Oh, steer and control. Okay, we're going to go down here because... Oh, he's right on me. Just make sure he doesn't rear-end me and spin me out like so. No, come on. No, again. Right at the end I get spotted and then my, my tire got popped and I just freaked out. I freaked out, got out too soon. I couldn't even get, couldn't even get first shot off before I was killed. That thing, that thing doesn't handle very well. It's got pace, but I struggled to handle that. And there we go. Just under four hours left and I get got again by Interceptor. <laughs> He's like my nemesis. Oh my God. Okay, well, there we go. Well, this has been a fantastic hunt. I've really enjoyed it. It's a bit of a shame about the ending. Very close to the ending too. But what can you do? Um, he was just happened to be around the area of the casino at the time that I was there. So, yeah, just fortunate for them. And there we go. Another hunt down. And, uh, yeah, not successful this time. We did not manage to survive the hunt, which is a shame. Feels like the perfect time for post-commentary Jacob just to jump in and say a few words before we see the filler bit afterwards. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video firstly, then do please leave the like. Uh, leave a like. <laughs> please do hit the like button. Also, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also leave a comment. And speaking of subscribing, we've hit a massive milestone. Yes, we have finally reached the 900 subscriber milestone. It has felt like a, such a long slog. I haven't really been promoting it recently. I've not been brilliant with social media or videos for like the last month, so I do apologise, you know, stuff happens, so that's, that's all I'm going to say on that front, but I'm back, I've done the video, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one, uh, but we are going to be recording the hashtag Road to 1000 as soon as possible, it's not going to be the next video, because if I don't do the so what happened for this hunt we've just seen, I'm going to be falling really far behind, because yeah my track record's not brilliant for if i don't do this, so it happen immediately i fall behind so yeah we're gonna do that then it will be the hashtag road 1000 but it will be soon afterwards so it's not gonna be a long way i've been making sure that as soon as we hit the subscriber milestone the videos are coming out shortly afterwards i have already got in contact with someone i've uh, did the random draw as i usually have and i've found a fantastic idea well I haven't found it i've got a fantastic idea for it it's gonna yeah it's it's Brilliant. I don't want to give too much away because obviously I want the video to speak all for itself, but it's going to be brilliant. The 900 is fantastic. And then it's only one more milestone until we hit that four figure mark, 1000, which is, oh yeah, I, I can't, can't imagine it, but <laughs> one thing at a time, 900, it's going to be amazing. Anyway, that is all I wanted to say. Uh, I probably made this really long, so I do apologize, but we're now going to jump towards the filler bit. And basically what this filler bit is when we did the uh, Halloween hump, back in october we had a first attempt at it unfortunately the map got corrupted with though the recording for it got corrupted so we had to sort of scratch it and we went again and uh, yeah basically i'm just going to show you it didn't also go very well either just a bit of a, bit of a spoiler but i'm going to show you that final chase bit because it's actually really good really good content and i didn't want to throw it away and this is a perfect opportunity for a filler but anyway made this too long let's roll the clip and hope you have enjoyed right bomb 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 blow it up there we go another Another star. Get down, get down, get down, you idiots. Okay, we go swimming, we go swimming. What is it? It's trick one, which is shoot a flare or firework into the sky. Oh, great. So I've got to do that now before I get going. Okay, because it's dark, it's only fair to do a firework. There we go. Okay, I've done that. That's really not good. I've not had a good track record of tricks or treats, have I? Nope. And there's the chopper. Can I scooch away nice and quick? I'm hoping I can. Another familiar getaway. I don't know if the chopper will have seen this. Hopefully not. Or maybe. I can't remember. If, I can't see if he's following me or not. Yeah, he's following me. <laughs> Smashing. Oh, that's another one. God, we're, we're falling like flies. Don't know what's going on, really. Oh yeah, the chopper seen me. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, they must have predicted that I was going to go by jet ski this time around. Oh, that's another trick, though. It's like, there's got to be treats left, surely. Okay, I don't really know where the best place is to go, if I'm going to be honest with you. Because the guys would be trying to predict my whereabouts. Well, obviously, they know where these... Like, what do you call it? Um... Like storm drains lead out to. What's the time? How much have I got? Five hours. Okay. I'd rather not die with five hours left. I'd, I'd try and get a Halloween victory. Oh, he is flying low, isn't he? I reckon I could... If he goes again... Is he going to go under? If he goes again... Ah! Oh, didn't get it right. Get back on. What are you doing? Get on. You idiot. On. Turn it on. Go, 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 go. Okay, I tried a few pop shots. It didn't really work. Ah, someone else is having a few pop shots. <laughs> okay. Right. What's the plan here then, buddy? You're going to try and ram me off? Is that the plan? I don't really... <laughs> okay, well, I didn't predict this happening. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, you're going to run out of land. And I'm going to have... Oh, he's a sneaky bugger. Well, this isn't something that's basically indiscreet, is it? With bloody white underglow. Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, this... Oh, my God, that is scary. Oh my god, come on. Oh, oh, that is mental. That is mental. Ah, okay, ah, okay, yep, he's allowed to shoot. No, Lucy got me. No, he must have just popped me one. Oh, I risked it too much. I shouldn't have gone. <laughs>